a dry boot to put it together. So you've, uh, we've wheeled it in here. We think that this is the best area here. It's already carpeted, so we get to just lay it down and open it up. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm just going to stay out of the way because it looks kind of silly to have two grown men doing this together. <laughs> So I'm just going to be right over here. All right. But I think it also helps sell the idea that uh, it only takes one person. Yeah. You can totally do this with one. If you have two, yeah, you can muscle yeah, through it a little faster. Uh, okay. Two sides, all the acoustic paneling on this side, all the PVC framework on this side. Look at that. It looks scary. All these poles and all these pipes. But the good thing is, is that everything is strung together with bungee. So if I were to like lift up this piece, You'll see it's already pretty much together. Oh, nice. So that's one piece already done. I'll show you again. Look. And the shock cord or bungee is under slight tension. So it really wants to come together. By the way, Rick is a magician, but this isn't magic. <laughs> I see that. Like, That's pretty cool. Moves are very magician. I, I will do a little bit later. I'm just gonna say I understand the concept of PVC piping, but for me it was like, oh god, what goes? What you know? Give me step by step. This yeah. is great. Yeah. So this is already. So there's five pieces all together. There's three, and then there's two more, two triangles. Notice at no point do his hands leave his wrists. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty amazing. This is the bottom triangle. I know that because there's a little bit of red tape there. Red, we think like hell. Blue, we think like heaven. So the blue triangle goes on top and the red goes on the bottom. <laughs> That's the bottom put together. A lot of the design work was in trying to figure out how to make it not you know, intimidating to assemble. You know, that obviously we've done that a bunch of times, but we have video on the website that has a ton of detail. Of, it's a very good video of him. We also, he has very good written instructions of the whole process, but that's where a lot of the time was spent. How do we make it so anybody can assemble this and it doesn't make you intimidated with parts, so. Including me, there you yeah, go. That's exactly, we didn't want anybody to be intimidated. So you place this wherever you want your booth, and this is where we pretty much want it, right about here? Mm -hmm. Something like this? Okay. Uh, now we just start putting the poles in. All these poles are the same, obviously, except this one. This one's got all the kind of gear on it, and we call it the utility pole. And uh, you see there's a little red tape there, and we put that right where the red tape is here. And you just stick it in. Now these, it doesn't matter. You can put these upside down, either hole, doesn't matter. It all works the same. Now, what's the front of the booth? Right here, where you're standing? Right here. Okay, got it. Like that. Got it. You had to do this with one person. This is how I do it. Put this over my head. The blue leg goes into that blue coupling. And once I get one in, Others going pretty easily. That's it. Awesome. Minutes, and I did it slow. Uh, now, <laughs> it's, it's a little wobbly, it's just PVC. So, we have these straps here. And when these straps are put together, it shores the whole thing up. You could do it just like this and hang your blankets on right now. But, but a, as a quick demo, I usually just yeah. leave it unstrapped. But if you're like me and you like to move in the booth a little bit, you know, you mm -hmm. want it to be a little shored up, which is what we'll do now. And all these straps are held together with some Velcro. It's an obsessed over design. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Only two walls need this strapping. Obviously you couldn't do the other wall because then you couldn't get in. And that's important for voiceover to be present in the booth. <laughs> so for me, I can put the thing together in less than eight minutes. 
kind of taking my time now a little bit just to show you, but, and only once have I ever been in a situation where someone said, get in the booth now. And I had to get it <laughs> in eight minutes. Now these have a little tension in them and they should. Like a suitcase belt. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. These obviously are adjustable. We make them adjustable because if you need to, there are um, expanders. Can you show the, the expanders there? In case you're- In case you're tall. In case you're tall or you plan on getting taller or you have- Got it. When the Laker's over and you want to- work with it. <laughs> Yeah, we can add, you can add these to the bottom. Oh, got Just it. Jack the whole thing up. Got it. Your foot. Once you adjust these, you probably don't have to adjust them again. Crank here. There. So they're just under a little bit of tension. So before we put the blankets on, uh, now would also be the time to kind of put your microphone and all that stuff in. So this is your mic boom, and you can adjust this any way you'd like. And this is where we put the copy stand or your laptop, whatever you prefer. What are we putting on here? You're going to uh, read off your laptop screen, right, Ann? Well, I have an iPad and I have a laptop, but I think if, if you want the editing software on whatever is going in the booth, it would be my laptop. Well, if you want to read from the laptop screen that you're recording from, then we can put the laptop in the booth. If you want to read from an iPad, yeah, I like that usually. Just on a chair next to the booth. Yeah, I think that's probably best because I, I can, I can device. zoom yeah. and expand easy on my iPad. Right, for, so okay. we'll do that. So let's okay. get your equipment in here before we hang everything on. Okay, great. It's easier. easier to see everything. 